everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day six of my Diamond Art Club unboxings. This one is a little different because I purchased this kit off of Amazon. This is one of the Amazon exclusive kits and it is so cute. I love it so much. Look at this. I don't even know how to say it. Hugo Hedge by Lowell Herrero. <laughs> that was so awful. I'm sorry. Look at how freaking cute he's got a little double chin. <laughs> um, this video is going to be a little bit different because I am going to complete this in the month of August and I'm going to come back before I post this and share the post review. So this will be an unboxing and also a post review. Um, I thought that would be kind of fun. This is a little kit. I'm going to squeeze it in for the Claws and Paws event that's being hosted. It's not going to be my official entry, but when I saw this one, I was like, I need to get it. It's so cute. I can't with the little kitty cat double chin. <laughs> so this is actually my first um, Amazon exclusive kit. So it does come like it would from the website. The box looks the same. You have the magenta circle to indicate that it's round diamonds. You have the sizing, 43 by 33 centimeters. This all looks the same. Um, I'm also seeing that we have the new toolkit. Uh, it looks like we have the uh, warranty um, little flyer here. And this is similar to what you would get if you purchased from um, like Hobby Lobby or is it Michael's or is it Joann's? I can't remember. Um, any of those kind of crafty retailers that sell Diamond Art Club, you get this same kind of piece of paper here. So what you need to do is you need to, um, I think you go... Yeah, you go to the website, diamondartclub.com slash warranty, and you put in your information. So then if you're out of, if you run out of diamonds or you have an issue, you're still covered by Diamond Art Club's insurance policy. So I'm going to leave that out because I have forgotten to do that with other kits that I purchased. I haven't had to take advantage or wouldn't have needed to take advantage of the warranty, but you never know, and I need to be better about making that happen. So I'm gonna actually leave that out so I remember. Okay, so all of this looks the same. We have the toolkit, we have the little sticker, and we have the Diamond Art Club dust bag. How cute, how cute, I can't, I can't. <laughs> It's so adorable. Um, I was going through the Diamond Art Club Amazon page and they do have some super cute images. I believe this one was $29.99. Uh, I don't have, obviously I don't have the listing in front of me, but I believe um, that was the, the price range. It's funny, I just filmed my day five. I, I filmed out of order and I was like gushing about this pen color. And isn't it so pretty? Oh, I love that one. Uh, we have some baggies. So the toolkit looks the same. We have our caddy with the heart-shaped wax. We have the new tray. We have our multi-placers. This looks like a really pretty washi tape. They've definitely got some new washi tape designs in because this one is really pretty. It's like a cornflower type of pattern and I got another gummy bear this one is in a different color it's so cute I think I got this I can't remember which day I'm filming this video last so excited to have another one it's a different color though so that all is the same and let's get into the kit I love that they're offering these. I feel like in general, they are starting to offer some different sized images, some smaller images. I love my big diamond paintings, don't get me wrong, but I do love having these little ones to kind of, I, I don't know, feel like you're accomplishing something. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Stop it. I, I love you. Can I bring you home? Do you wanna join my cat family? <laughs> so cute um but I do love I love this this little cute size and there were some other ones 
Um, it seems like they go in and out of stock pretty frequently on Amazon. Um, I can imagine it's easier for some people to purchase through Amazon. Um, and I'll definitely be keeping a closer eye on their shop because this is so cute. I can't. Okay, so we have the little pamphlet there and we have our same legend sticker sheet. So you have the name of the kit, the artist, your start and end date, a larger thumbnail. I just the double chin gets me. <laughs> uh, round drills, 43 by 33. We have 54 colors with three ABs. These are pre-cut labels, so you just have to peel and stick onto your containers. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. I'm going to open these so I can show you the AB colors. All right. Ooh, these are, oh, that's weird. The drills are a little sticky. They're sticking to each other but I can still make out the number. It kind of looks like the printing maybe wasn't dried when these were folded and they just kind of all stuck to each other, but that's fine. Okay, so our ABs are 132, so an orange, uh, 135, this chartreuse green, I have a feeling that's gonna be in his eye, and then 141, which is white. So the orange color is in this little butterfly. I love how he's cross-eyed. And again, guys, the double chin, come on. Please come home to me, Hugo. You are so cute. <laughs> um, the second color is 135 and that is in his eyeballs. And then 141 is symbol three, that is the white. And that is the little pupil or like the little highlight of the pupil in his eyes. There's also some in the butterfly and his whiskers are the white AB. So, so cute. I think I'll be able to finish this one pretty quickly and that's why I wanna do the unboxing and post review combo. I think it'll just be fun and something different. And yeah, so I will be back in, you know, seconds for you, but who knows how long for me. It'll be before, let's see, I have this scheduled to go up August 26th. So I'll come back before then <laughs> with the finish and share it with you all. So I will see you then. Bye for now. Okay, I am back with this finish. You guys would have just seen the unboxing in the last clip. Um, this is about a week later. Uh, I took this kit away for a weekend up at camp. I didn't finish it while we were there, but I finished, I, I cut this into to quarters. So I finished, actually I think I started at the bottom. So I finished like from here to here, this bottom section while we were away. And then I started this section. And then I actually had a day off of work this week. So I finished the rest of it in one day. I think it came out super, super cute. Um, the sizing on this one is, 43 by 33 so it's a you know a pretty small cute size it's super super sparkly um this one had the two ab three ab's there was an orange which is in the butterfly a lime green which is in his eyes and then the whiskers are all in white ab which i love um i don't really have any I didn't have any issues with this canvas. However, I did have, well, I guess that's kind of contradictive to say. I did have two small issues, but I was able to work around them without much of an issue. So these drills were so staticky, which I know for, for most of us as diamond painters, like it, that's just more annoying than anything. Like it's just annoying to have staticky drills. Um, so these drills were super, super staticky and they clumped together like nobody's business. I, ugh, I find that so annoying. I hate clumping drills. I can deal with static, but clumping drills, I can't. They annoy me so much. So I don't know if... <sighs> I don't know. I know that they say that static is pretty like dependent on where you live. It was relatively hot the past couple of weeks 
where I live, so maybe it was something to do with that. I also, obviously I ordered this kit from Amazon. I'm kind of wondering if that plays a part in it. Um, when I order from Diamond Art Club, directly from Diamond Art Club, um, their warehouse is located in New Jersey and I live in New York. So I normally, if I order a new release on Saturday, I normally have it by Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest. So it's, it's not really like out in the world, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like it's shipped from their warehouse and it makes like one stop before it gets to my local post office and then I have it. Whereas these Amazon kits, they're coming from different warehouses. They could be traveling longer. So I'm kind of wondering if this particular kit was just in and out of different climates and that kind of added to the static factor. I don't know if that's even possible, but that's kind of what my brain <laughs> has worked out. But regardless of the static and the clumping drills, um, I think this came out super cute. I think <laughs> it's just a little kitty. Um, obviously, I think it would have been even cuter if it was rendered larger. Um, I think that the butterfly, you would have gotten more detail, but the cloud background I think came out great. Um, there was a really good mix of color blocking and confetti. So this background here was mostly color blocking. You can see there's like three or four colors in here. Um, but most of the confetti came in with the cat's fur, which I think rendered really, really well. Um, I wanted to just share what I use to deal with clumping drills. I'm just going to take a look and see if I could find any... <clears throat> I, I didn't write down which drills in particular were giving me a problem, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I put dryer sheets in all of these, so that kind of helped. But if I do have clumping drills, I like to use one of these grinders from Bella Art Dana Cole. Um, you just pour the drills in the bottom here, and then you put the top on it, and you just press down a little bit and you twist and you can just hear them breaking apart so i highly recommend not just spell art day nicole's but having a drill grinder in your collection is super helpful <clears throat> excuse me i had plenty of drills left in every color um obviously like it's a small kit so i don't have a ton left over but that is totally fine um but i did have hopefully you guys can see just the static there you can see it's sitting on the bottom. I do have a dryer sheet, so if you kind of just shake them around, that helps a little bit. Uh, so plenty of drills in every color, no issues there. And as far as trash was concerned, this is a super small kit, so I did not feel like I had an obscene amount of trash, just a few little extra pieces, nothing too crazy. And... Yeah, I guess all I have left is to go over my accessories. So you can see here, this is my little toolkit for when we travel. So I did take a dryer sheet with me. My washi tape, the super cute cloud washi is from Amanda Michelle Designs. And then I used this little skinny MT tape for my containers. My pen is from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. I've been wanting to use this pen for quite a while. I just haven't had a chance to. I think it's such a cool turning style there. I just love how the the colors came through. This tray here is from Muni Made. It's one of the small trays. I loved the, oops. I thought it just kind of went together quite well. This minder, I do not know where this minder is from. I'm going to say either Nika's Designs or Galloway's Gallery. I'll try to go back in my purchases and see if I can figure out where I purchased it. And I will link that shop down below. And I used some putty from Randa's Crafty Corner in my multi-placer. And then I used micro glue dots in my single placer. I just, I knew that I could load that up before we left and then I wouldn't have to worry about needing any other kinds of wax. Um, but that is the super cute Hugo Hedge. I, I still don't know. Hugo Hedge? I don't know. <laughs> I 
Um, super fun. I was excited to work on one of these Amazon exclusive kits. I This has made me, it's, it's like in my brain now to check and see what Amazon has in the Diamond Art Club storefront. Um, there are some really, really cute ones. Obviously, I love cats, so this is <laughs> the one I chose, but I have caught myself just kind of keeping an eye. I like to peek over there every once in a while and see what they have going on. There's no like heads up. You can just go over and you see that they have different kits. So I like that. I like that Diamond Art Club is giving us more affordable options, um, a little bit more to the budget friendly side. Um, this kit was 20 something. So obviously that's more expensive for this 30 by 40 size, but for people who really love licensed artwork, quality products, you're getting the Diamond Art Club quality that we all know and love. Um, <clears throat> I think that could outweigh some of the cheaper unknown kits that are out there. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying my week of unboxings. I'm filming this after I have filmed everything else, so I don't remember what's next, but I hope uh, you're enjoying them and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!